Hey everyone, today I'll be doing a Season 7 LeBlanc ad. First of all, before we get into the video, I'm going to show you the runes and masteries I go. The runes I go Magic Penetration Reds, Armor Yellows, Ability Power Blues, and Ability Power Quints. The masteries I go are 12 Ferocity and 18 in Cunning, like the standard LeBlanc page course. I like to put Bounty Hunter, but I didn't do it in the video because I fucked up on accident, sorry guys, but so no like misconceptions. When you start with this build, you're going to want to start with a Dark Seal Unrefillable Pot to punish your laner. You want to get the Hextech Revolver your first item in this build and then try to get the Gunblade as fast as you can to make your laning phase even better. This build power spikes very hard when you get the Gunblade because of the active and it has the slow and the healing. The active really helps in fights for that bonus damage and the slows make it really hard for your enemy to get away from you in combat. The next great part about this build is the Lich Bane. This item makes it so you can Q, auto attack, W or E, and it should proc your Thunderlords and do insane damage with the Thama Lich Bane proc. It also helps you push towers very quickly compared to the old LeBlanc build where you had Morellos and such. After you have Gunblade and Lich Bane, you're going to want to finish your boots. With this build, there are three boots you can go. You can go the Mercury Treads, Ninja Tabby, and Sorcerer Shoes. I highly don't recommend the Sorcerer Shoes since you're a squishy AP mage, but they can help in some scenarios. But I find the Mercury Treads and Tabby help in the most overall. After you have your boots and your two core items, you're going to want to get an AP defensive item like Zonia's or Abyssal Scepter, since you're very squishy to stay alive so you can kill the ADC in the back line. After you get one of these defensive items, try to rush a Void Staff so you can still do damage even though they have a ton of magic resist so you can shred them. For your final item, you're going to want to get a Rabidon's Death Cap, so you can get the bonus 35% ability power, which should give you around 700 AP in the end of the game, and you should be able to get any squishy champion bursted unless they have a mob Memorias, but you should still come close. This build is really orientated about being a mid-game assassin and a late game to pick off the ADC. So your final build should look something like this. Thank you for watching my Season 7 LeBlanc Guide. I hope you like it and comment what you want to see next video. Thank you for watching. We get a weakness. You gotta see this. Yeah, yeah. yeah.